Hello guys, Antoine here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to visit two builds that I've done a long time ago, just like we did in the two previous videos where we visited some of um, my most successful builds, if I can say. And today I would like to visit one of my favorite lots. Uh, so before we get started, we're just going to activate the move objects on just to be sure that there won't be any mess on the lot and let's go to the gallery and I have an idea today I would like to visit two houses the first one is going to be the British Manor I don't know if you remember about this build um, but still today it's one of my favorite builds so let's go um, it was built a long time ago in yeah in 2017 so it's been quite a while um, I remember building this build on this exact lot so it's perfect um, last time I recorded in Death Valley but right now I'm building something else on this lot and yeah I do don't want to change the, um, the game file or whatever so I just moved to Windenburg and it's perfect for this build so here we are um, I call it the British Manor because the architecture reminded me of some big countryside mansions that you can see in the UK. Um, I've never been myself to the countryside in the UK, so probably just my own vision of what it looks like. Um, but I was inspired by some real houses. And I remember that my good friend Sim Kim told me that there is such a house not far away from her and she lives in the UK, so she is... Um, Yes, the security about this vision. Um, so let's go. Um, we're just going to have a look of the exterior and then we're going to go inside. Um, so we have a big entryway, um, entranceway, entryway, I don't know, but you probably got what I mean. Um, I think I built this when Romantic Garden Stuff Pack was released or short after it was released. So I used a lot of items such as there's uh, flower pots, the arches here, the big bushes, and some statues that we have here. Um, I really love the feel of the bill when you're coming in. It feels really majestic, I think. And at the same time, it's really manicured, but you feel that it's a whole house that, yeah, that 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 went through many decades or even centuries so something is going on here and the night the nature is very lush and I love this so here we have a pond or what is supposed to be a pond it's a bit um, yes a bit too artificial I think when I'm looking at it right now uh, but because of this time we didn't have the terrain options which means that we couldn't sink yes um, the pond in, in the floor and now if we're doing it it looks a little bit better when you have this soft edge. So maybe I should work again on this lot. So yes, uh, let's go on this side. Here is what I call the medieval garden, I think, uh, because some medieval gardens in castles and palaces had this kind of square patterns. So here are just four squares. It doesn't have much purples, actually. It's pretty useless it's just for the decoration but I love the style and if we keep going here we have a small terrace with I don't know what it is actually oh yes a solar solar clock I don't know how you call this in English um, yes anyway let's keep going um, wow that is an alley like yeah there are a lot of flowers and there's a plant just in the air i don't know why um that's not important um this is probably what my favorite part of the exterior this is this big swimming pool which shows that the hold is that the house is old but um it's still inhabited and has some modern features and this big swimming pool is one of the spheres and I like it with the jacuzzi just here and we have several terraces including the dining the outside dining room with barbecue and here is another terrace which is more like a chill terrace 
and if you go up which i which is something i like i don't do that often in my builds uh, i mean have having two different levels uh, outside connected with a stair but i like it uh, and here is another another small terrace where you can chill um, and if I remember well, it is leading to the painting studio, but we will see that a bit later. Let's go inside. Okay. Um, oh yes, it was a very, very dark interior just to make it look like a very whole manor. And yeah, this will come from Vampire Staff Park. Game Park, sorry and it was very cool so here is the entrance and yes here is the living room which i remember is a little bit of a mess um i like this part but here um okay there's something to talk about just having this arch here which is blocked by this wall feels a bit dumb but okay um it was a long time ago so please Excuse me for this. I uh, actually had a very big room and I didn't know how to put all the different uses of a living room. So I actually decided, um, divided it in two parts. Have the TV area here, which looks a little bit weird. Okay, I would probably do it in a different way right now. And here is a more formal area with the fireplace and yeah, you know, the regular couches. It looks very dark, uh, very gothic almost. I'm not sure I would feel well here with, with this aggressive red uh, panels, but okay, I, I don't know what I had in mind back then, but I think the other part of the house are nicer. Here is a small music area, and here is the greenhouse or conservatory. I don't really know what the difference is between greenhouse or conservatory. So please feel free to tell me. Um, this is something I like to do in my big mansions. And yeah, I still find it very cool. Okay, let's go on the other side. Uh, oh yes, here we have the toilets. Here is another hallway with the library. Okay, quite, quite okay. Uh, library slash office with a great view on the swimming pool um, and now we have oh yes it's a little bit weird uh, I, I'm not so sure about it but let's go uh, this is the informal dining room and just next to it we have the formal dining, dining room which is uh, a tiny bit bigger actually we have two chairs so there's just two chairs as a difference between the two dining halls so yeah, it's not a big deal and doesn't, isn't it weird to have both of them just next to each other? I, I find it a little bit strange right now when I'm looking at it. I don't know. Um, yes, I definitely love the exterior, but the interior is uh, a bit more questionable, I think. Um, yes, okay. Uh, we're not going to talk about this bar here, nor of this all this actually <laughs> um, I like the kitchen the kitchen is nice uh, very big very bright we have a lot of daylight coming in it looks quite traditional but still functional at the same time and very grand and welcoming um, so okay I don't have any problem with the kitchen but this oh um, yeah I'm not sure I'm definitely not sure that's it for the first floor we can go up i think there is no um, basement yes no maybe it was built even before we had the basements in the game i'm not sure um let's go up here is the landing which i remember well and i love the landing uh, because it's full of bookshelves it feels very welcoming and very warm i think with these earthy tones here is another hallway um I think half of the house is consists of hallways, actually. Uh, but anyway, here is a, be a first bedroom. There are a lot of bathrooms, so the house is very comfortable, but very dark and very 
castle-like, I would say, with this big harmers. Harmers? Yeah, probably harmer. Harmer? Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> that's how you call it. Um, here is one first master bedroom. I think we have two master bedrooms, yes. This one, um, which isn't okay, but this beige colors are definitely not something that I like anymore, I think. Um, so the house, the bedroom, sorry, has its own bathroom, so it's very cool. Uh, and a big walk-in closet with a very dark carpet, which it's a bit too dark. Um, you know, when I'm thinking about this, I think I would do it in a different way with much more uh, brighter colors and something a little bit more, uh, not modern, but still traditional, but not as gloomy. Um, I'm not sure it's gloomy, but somehow with some of the patterns, the chandeliers, the harmers, I mean, at night, it must be a little bit scary to to walk from your bedroom to the fridge downstairs, I think. Um, yes, anyway, here is another bedroom, which is pretty large. I like this one more than the previous one. I don't know, it feels a bit more colorful and brighter, and the light is beautiful inside. Okay, um, wow, this mirror looks very sad. I think it's very tiny compared to the fireplace and a small bathroom okay let's go on the other side another bedroom quite simple with a user's balcony because you cannot go to the balcony so maybe I should add a door instead of the window um, we have here toilets here is a small bedroom either for a servant or um, I don't know for a guest that you don't really like um, because it's really tiny, it feels like being in jail. Yes, luxurious jail, of course. And here, um, another bathroom. And I think, it's oh yeah, oh my god. <laughs> okay, we have. Well, you didn't see anything. Just go on this little bedroom. And here is um, something very strange, and I still don't know why I did this. This is a super modern gym. Um, why? I mean, when you're looking from above, all of the rooms are in a very traditional style with wood floor, wood panels, uh, dark colors. And here we have this all white um, concrete and tiles room, which is super modern. Uh, it looks very strange, really. I think I would commonly delete it and do something else um, I like to have the, the idea of having a gym in my house but I don't know um, it would have been better in the basement but here just in the first floor yeah it's super strange I have to say I don't like it um, and finally the last part and yeah I was right this is a painting studio um, which is cool I think it's the only house where I built a painting studio and I like it um, yeah it's very cool and I think it matches the whole side of the house um, because probably the house was built by an artist or I don't know and they just did to just um, design a painting studio yes I don't know what I'm saying let's go up and yeah we have a small area when you want to chill when you paint it too much you can either chill here or outside. Okay, now it's time to go for another house. Um, yeah, I really love the exterior. Favorite part, but everything has to be redone inside, I think. Okay, let's move on and go to another house. Um, I had in mind to explore the Wiccan Mansion. Yes, it's here. Uh, still one of my favorite mansions. And I think I'm saying this every time we're visiting a house. Um, but actually, we are only visiting the house that I like the most. And the very large houses. Um, so this house, the Wiccan Mansion, was built uh, in Brindleton Bay on the 64 by 64 lot. And I imagine it as being 
a little weekend getaway for a very rich family living in New York, for example, and they go to this house during the weekend in the Hamptons or something like that, or Long Island, or I don't know, a city not so far away from New York, but still very relaxing and yeah, nice for the weekend. So here we are. So you have to imagine that just here we have the ocean, uh, but it works pretty well here as well, I think. So this is not a small house. It's not, it's not a small vacation house. It's a very large mansion. So you have to imagine that the people living here are very rich because they're not actually living here. They're just coming two days a week. Um, so yeah, there's they're definitely very rich. So you can see that there are actually two different parts of the house. There's the main house um, made of stone and what is what could be considered as an extension of the house. Even though the first part is pretty big and we have this one, which is a bit more different, uh, but very cool. So we have what I like in big mansions, two different entries, entrances. Um, yes, okay, that's it. <laughs> um, let's go on the other side in the garden, which I really like. And you know what, because it's breathing, uh, you have a lot of space everywhere around the different feeders, uh, around the pool, around the terraces. Um, yeah, you don't feel overwhelmed by all the things in the house. I think it's a very cool house. The terrace is cool as well. Um, yeah, as you can see, the house looks pretty traditional, but the furniture is quite modern or at least contemporary. Not ultra modern, but still, um, I mean, quite fashionable and not old fashioned. Um, yes, so we have the house here and here is another small uh, conservatory or greenhouse. Maybe we can just have a look inside. What I like, of course, is this um, stained glass roof, which is, yeah, the shadows are so amazing. I can totally imagine coming here for the tea time, having a tea, reading a book, chilling. Oh yes, I would feel so good in just such a place. I think I would live here 100% of the time. I wouldn't even go to the main house. Okay, uh, let's go inside. So we have a big entrance with... Um, okay, no, I thought it was a double level ceiling, but no. Um, I, didn't want it, I didn't want it to be too pretentious or too much, you know. I wanted it to be very welcoming and luxurious, but not tacky. Um, just a, a place where you feel good for the weekend. Even though I would definitely feel nice if I was living here all year long. I would not I would probably never leave the house if I, if I had such a house. Um, so here is a small um, lobby going outside. Here we have the living room, which is very cool, not too much, just the perfect size, I think. Here is the kitchen, which is pretty large, but you have to imagine that a big family comes here for the weekend, so they can gather all together here. And yes, I like the kitchen very much, really. You know, I'm not very good at kitchens, but this one I remember was quite a good kitchen. Um, here we have the dining, which is actually inside um, what I would call a veranda. I don't know how we call this in English, maybe veranda as well. Um, but you know, there's big um, rooms that are only made of windows. Okay, it's quite simple as well. And I like it. Let's go on the other side. We have, um, yeah, let's call it the useless room. <laughs> They're just um, this baby food and that's it. We have two bathrooms or yeah, actually toilets and here bathroom. Here is the other entrances that allows you to cross directly and go to the garden. And here is, um, yes, the family room. Or the library, yes. Here is an office. And finally here we have the TV room and, oh yes, 
excuse me, I had to, he was stressing me out. Um, yes, it's very cool because of all these windows, even though I'm not sure it's the best idea to have so much windows in a TV room uh, because of the reflection, but it's still a very, very um, relaxing room. I love the vibes. Okay, let's go upstairs. Um, what do we have here? We have one first bedroom with a terrible beige wall. Um, but it's okay because we have this beautiful wallpaper with... Okay, a bathroom, which is only for this bedroom. Here we have another bedroom um, with another bathroom, which is shared with oh yes i think it should be shared yes i don't know why but it disappeared it should be here or here yes it should have been here um yeah it's for these two bedrooms and everything is in double except the bathtub but they all have a sink and a shower so here is the other bedroom very simple Actually, for this house, I use a lot of items from Cats and Dogs, which is still one of my favorite parks. And not in terms of gameplay, but in terms of building items that we got. And I just love the style. It's very relaxing, very simple, and it was perfect for this house. Uh, let's keep going. Here is another hallway with a small seating area. We have a separate bathroom. And here, two other bedrooms. Um, all right, um, there should have been a bed here, another lamp and a cupboard, but it disappeared. You know, it's very frustrating because um, sometimes when you upload the house to the gallery with all the elements and you just uh, download them back and put them on a lot and some things disappear, it's very very frustrating it also happens when i'm building something very big i saved a lot and half of the walls or half of the window disappeared so i have to redo it all again all over again every time it's very very frustrating and time consuming but okay you have to imagine a bed here <laughs> and here uh, is a bathroom shared with the other bedroom here which has all the furniture fine so in total, we have one, two, three, four, five bedrooms, which is quite good for just a weekend mansion, I think. Um, and I could have built something in the attic, uh, a small bedroom or just storage, you know, but I didn't really know where to put the stair and because of the roof, which is super annoying which doesn't allow you to see inside and yeah, I would just like, no, I don't want to struggle with that. So I just put windows to have, um, yeah, just to pretend there's something on the second floor, even though there's nothing. And yeah, just for the style. But if you want to struggle with the roof, uh, feel free to do so and to build something there. Yes, okay, um, I think we're done now. We visited two houses and I think it's time for me to go. And next time um, we're visiting. Okay, let's go just check what we could visit next time, but we're not visiting it right now. Um, probably we could visit the Bravilius Manor, which is still today the biggest mansion as I've ever built. So this could be a choice or it could be actually one video because it's very big so we could visit this one and a smaller one um yes the summer villa probably it was a very cool contemporary house so okay next time if i don't forget we're going to visit the beverly house manor and the summer villa but for now i'm leaving you with a view on the weekend mansion i really hope you enjoyed this video uh, both of the houses we visited are on the gary so feel free to download them there is also a speed bill for each of them on the channel. They're a little bit old, so you have to, yeah, to scroll to scroll down all my videos to find them. But they're here, um, and yeah, it's time for me to go. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.